All right, friends, this is Nathan with Tribulus Limited, and I'm going to show you how to attach your straps to a Tribulus Endover or Mini Endover. So these are the straps, buckles, and Velcro that you should receive when you get a bag. We have two short cam straps for attaching to your handlebar, two long cam straps for attaching to your fork, two short compression, two long compression, as well as two standard side release buckles and two side release buckles with a cam attachment. We also have four bits of Velcro webbing there. So the first thing I recommend doing is grabbing your Velcro, putting it through the small loop here on your buckles. Let's see, one, two, three, and four. Let's scoot this stuff over. If you take your endover, this is a mini endover just about to be released. This is the front of the bag. We have a daisy chain here. On the rear of the bag, we have two daisy chains, one for handlebar attachment, one for fork attachment, and then we have our webbing tube that contains our carbon fiber bar. So, grabbing your long cam straps, put these through the outside. On both sides here. Grabbing your short cam straps, put these through the outside of the top daisy chain. You can play with the placement of these depending on the handlebar setup you have. The great thing about this bag is the modularity. So you can scoot them in if you have other things attached to your handlebars or you have a drop bar, you want to maybe mount them wider so you have a nice um, hand position on the top of your drops. After we have those four, we'll take our two long compression straps and feeding them through the top. I like to do the one, two, third space in, feed them through, then find the slot in that tri-glide, that cinch nice and tight on there. Same thing, one, two, three. down nice and tight and we'll flip the bag over, grab our two compression straps we just attached, feed them under the bag, one, two, three, bits in, get that bend in the loop out of there, and again, one, two, three, and we'll take our short compression straps, feeding them from the bottom up, and again through the slot in the tray glide. Pull that nice and tight. Over here again from the bottom up. Let's see. Go. That nice and tight. And then we can take our buckles. I'll do the cam buckles first for the longer compression straps. Goes through the forwardmost slot and then back down through the further back slot. Pull that down, cinch that cam buckle. Same thing, pull that down, cinch that, and then the standard side release buckles. Pull that. Again, pull that guy. And there you have it, we've got one, two, three, four compression straps through the front. And on the back, we have two cam buckle straps for our handlebar attachment and two cam buckle straps for our fork attachment. Next up, we'll get into showing you how to put that on the bicycle itself. All right, friends, this is Nathan and I'm back. I'm gonna show you how to put this bag that we just put the straps on onto your bicycle. I'm working with a 2019 Surly Wednesday here. Um, Get yourself some fat tires, ride in the snow, ride in the sand, have a good time. I got a Jones bar on here, 27.5 wheel set. 95% um, of the bicycles out there, you're gonna have plenty of clearance in your fork crown to fit the straps in there. The 1% of bicycles that don't are gonna be 
really, really tight clearances on road style bikes where you can't fit wider than like a 25C tire. Those sorts of bikes, trying to stay super fast and super light, you probably don't want a bag on there. Um, so those people, not the target audience. If you got a bike like that, you probably have something else with more clearance. So this is the bag for you for that bike. Anyway, so we have our handlebar attachments at the widest positions. I'm gonna hold these up to the Jones bar and see if that makes sense. It looks like it'll fit great. So I'm gonna go ahead and use those. For a Jones bar, my recommendation is to attach the bag to the outermost loop, um, but this bag will fit on nearly any handlebar out there. A lot of folks that are into bike packing, off-road bike touring, even on-road bike touring are a big fan of the Jones bar. I think they're great. I like the width. I like the sweep. Um, this is what I'm using on this bike. So you've got your two cam buckle straps. We'll take one. Super simple, open up that cam buckle, slide the webbing through there, pull it nice and snug, lock that cam down, scoot it over. Same thing here. The biggest issue you may have is with your cables and housing. <clears throat> I've got plenty of space here. I'm not worried about this angle. That's not gonna put too much pressure and kink the cable or the housing. Same thing on the other side here, kinda hard to see. But even with a you know, little bit of bend there, my shift housing is gonna get a little bit bent, but the bend isn't at a drastic enough curve where it's gonna affect the shifting. So I'm just gonna set this up as it is and we'll see how it goes. So got my first strap on there, cables are going behind that. This one, same thing. Put that webbing through the slot and cam buckle, get it nice and cinched. Cinch it down nice and tight. Then, this may be difficult to see. Let's see if I can make some room for us here. Tuck the bag in itself. For commuting around town, grabbing groceries, this is how I have the bag set up. I have the roll top tucked into itself, and it's a nice little basket so you can put your stuff in there. Um, easy to get in, easy to get out. If it's raining, I'll pull the this up, cinch it down, roll it down so it's nice and waterproof. But for simple stuff, I'll just make a nice little basket right there. That's great. So we have our two fork straps. I hope we can see this with the angle of the camera here. We're going to put the strap underneath the fork, open up that cam buckle, put the strap through, cinch it down, not too tight for the first one. We'll get that adjusted and straightened out here in a moment. Same thing on the other side. Open that buckle up. Get the strap through there. Scoot the buckle so that it's closer to the bag itself. The other side, pull that down, get it nice and tight. I want to have both straps on there. I'll go ahead and adjust these buckles. Open them both up. Pull them down kind of evenly so they're nice and snug there. Get one strap on, get the other strap on, and that bag is super solid without the compression. The compression is going to add more stability for us. So you may notice that I have these long straps dangling around my wheel. Um, we don't like that. I would encourage you to go ahead and take a pair of scissors, snip that webbing, take a lighter and singe off the end so that it'll seal and it won't unravel. Do that to both sides. If you trim them too short, I'm happy to sell you another pair of straps. Just get a hold of me and let me know. So, you got the bag attached to the handlebar and to the fork. That's super solid. Look at that, it's not really moving. Put our stuff in there. The more we have the load towards the front, the more it's gonna bounce around. That's why we have our compression straps. So, the two centermost compression straps, I'm going to open up the Velcro. Open up that cam buckle so I have some wiggle room here. Bring that around. I'll strap that Velcro to the inner bar. Cinch that down. Get that cam strap locked. Same thing on the other side. That buckle. Attach that Velcro. Cam buckle. Strap it down. Compressing 
the load that would be in that bag if I had it loaded. So these two outermost compression straps are coming from the front sides and back. I would encourage you to play around with the placement of these and find out what the best setup is for your own bicycle. For me, I don't know, I may put them here so that, that compression is coming back to the sides. For the outermost compression, a nice wide position is most likely the best to compress the sides of that load. That one's strapped in there. And that's that. You could put a 12 pack of beer in there and it wouldn't really bounce around. Um, that is basically how you set the bag up. So thanks for bearing with me and have fun with your bags.